happy first week of the love challenge oh my goodness i'm so excited today we are going to be looking at how we can integrate some love for our students within our classroom hey there i am charlotte recolorful teaching for you and um, i just want to let you know that well the reason we're doing this is because there's just so much going on with our lives our students lives and sometimes if they don't feel connected to us there's a lot of classroom management issues that go on, right? So we're going to tackle one of them and we're going to do it really, really quickly, right? So this is something I would love for you to actually try throughout the week. And, and I know you're going to love it. So you're going to keep on trying it forever, I hope. So here is the strategy. I like to call this story time. So for story time, we're not actually going to read a story to our kids. What we are going to do is tell them stories, but through our lives, our personal lives, we're going to share with them who we are, right? I don't know about you, but some of my kids, they think that I live in the school and that I eat, breathe, and just all I ever think about is school. And it's not true. So we're going to tell them who we are, right? I love to tell them, you know what? I don't dress like this when I get out there. I dress in baggy jeans, big shirts, and like just, you know, running shoes. That's my thing. And so... And they're like, no, what are you talking about? But it's true. Um, so I like to share with them what's going on, what did I notice, what was happening in the news, and they love it. So this is one of the ways to connect with our kids. So if you're going to connect with them, story time it is. And it's a really great way of actually having them sit around in a circle. So if you've got older kids, I'd put them, I'd have them sit in chairs, just move all the desks out of the way, have them sit in a nice little circle or semicircle. And if you've got younger kids, I do it as carpet time. And then once you start talking, they start to open up. For the, young, for the younger ones, it's really easy because they just want to share everything about their lives. But for the older ones, you might actually need to share a little bit more. You might want to have some you know, little scripts out there or, or questions or prompts so that they might um, want to share. And if you are able to build this connection right away through the storytelling, you're going to have a much easier time when you want to help them resolve conflicts because then we call it the conflict circle and they eat it up because it teaches them how to talk about their emotions in a very, very calm way. How do we listen to somebody else's point of view? Because there's just so much misunderstanding sometimes and as they get older, you've got hormones around there. So if we are able to get them to talk and, and create a space where they want to share, then we just, you know, we create a space for them to feel safe. They love it. And so in the beginning, it's going to be like pulling teeth. I won't, I won't lie about that. But as you get, you get started on this, you'll start to see them open up. You'll start to see them want to come and talk to you. I mean, it gets to a point where you want them to just get out the door. You're like, I, I think I, you've shared enough. So start with today. Well, not today, but start on Monday and break this down every day. And then I'd like you to integrate three other strategies and you'll find that at www.colorfulteachingforyou.com forward slash blog and I'll link to it as well. But in the meantime, I hope you try the strategy and knock it out of the park, friends, and I'll see you later. So take care. Remember to create, experience, and teach from the heart. Take care, my friends. Bye.